When we're talking about hydroponics versus growing organics, uh, there's a couple things that are kind of controversy, which would be yield and then flavor. Let's start with yield. Do you personally notice a difference in yield when growing organically versus hydroponically? 100%. 100%. Yeah, like, I mean... uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, uh, hi- the thing about growing on hydro is you, you do, you do achieve sometimes amazing results when it comes to yield, right? Because you are ba- basically, you know, um, f- fogwaring these things, right? You're force feeding them, you're giving them whatever, you know, you're maxing them out on their EC, you're pushing the plants to its limit. Um, you know, I've seen massive plants especially recently too because like i go and tour all these gardens and you know it's 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 beautiful to see but i also know that there's pgrs in there and i'm not really interested in smoking any of it because i don't feel it's healthy but i see some phenomenal growth you know what i mean like it's it's some amazing results um so yields tend to uh suffer a little bit in 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 organic not not all the time though. There's certain situations. It really depends on your location and your in whatever your inputs are, because organic growing, for instance, outdoors, yeah, there's I wouldn't even compare it. You know what I mean? Because you're never going to get a salty plant to grow as big as an organic plant outdoors in a large scale, just because it it won't. It will not. There's nothing to sustain it at that point. Whereas you know when you're growing organically outdoors on a scale like that just the amount of assistance that's going on within the mycorrhizal and you know the rhizospheres is a completely active place whereas if you go on the hydro the rhizosphere is a devoid of action you know what i mean it's like there's things going there's roots growing but there's hardly any you know uh life down there and so for me the the key to the whole thing is is everything helps each other right so if you're growing uh so like but fla- but then on the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to flavor hands down 100% organic every time like there's no not even a question like and people can say oh yeah i, I get i can grow it so it, you know people can't tell the difference sure sure you can but i bet if somebody else grew it organically it would taste better than what you you know what i mean it's just like it it really comes down to like you cannot compare them because you know the cardboard terps you get off of athena is not going to ever compare to a you know a properly grown organic garden just it ain't happening i'm sorry you know and and people can because a lot of times people will be like no but not from experience only from you know they smoked that they think it tastes good but they don't know what else could be there you know what i mean there's so much more that can be there and yeah definitely from a from an actual wanting to smoke it point of view, like I had, um, we did a thing called the ADSI, which is the Adam Dunn Show Invitational. We did him, I think 2014, 15, and 18. And every single time, top three, organic. And this is all blind. And this is by the growers. Like, you know, we did the classic where if you enter, you get to test. So it wasn't like, you know, randos. It was like, you entered, or you entered hydro, but you picked organic. <laughs> so therefore, that just tells me it wins right there. You know what I mean? Like the growers themselves see it and appreciate it. So yeah, I think you can't really beat it. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mr. Grow at 15 to save on any of their products.